Federal prosecutors are taking action against Iranian hackers after a summer full of warnings from intelligence officials about possible election interference. As national correspondent Matt Galka tells us, the move comes after alleged hacks of the Trump campaign. The defendant's own words make clear that they were attempting to undermine former President Trump's campaign in advance of the 2024 U.S. presidential election. Multiple Iranians face criminal charges for allegedly hacking into Donald Trump's campaign. A grand jury indicted three hackers tied to the Iranian government this week for cyber crimes, allowing them to access Trump campaign material. The American people, not a foreign power, decide the outcome of our country's elections. Prosecutors say between June and August, the hackers stole debate prep, vice presidential vetting material, and emails from Trump's campaign. Some of the stolen documents were sent to journalists, with almost all of the outlets choosing not to publish what they received. The materials were also sent to members of the Biden campaign before it turned into the Kamala Harris campaign. Harris's team says they didn't use anything that was sent by the alleged hackers. Our enemies are desperate to prevent Donald Trump from returning to the White House. Along with the hacking, the Trump campaign says they've been briefed on credible threats from Iran to try and assassinate him. Trump's administration authorized the killing of a top Iranian military commander in 2020 and pulled out of the Iran nuclear deal in 2018. The U.S. is offering a $20 million reward for info leading to the arrest of a different Iranian national accused of plotting to kill former Trump national security advisor John Bolton. This is something we've been tracking uh, very intensely intensely for, uh, for a long time, uh, an ongoing threat by Iran against a number of senior officials, including former government officials. Surprisingly, the former president said this week he was still open to negotiating with Tehran on a new nuclear agreement if he gets reelected. We have to make a deal because the consequences are impossible. We have to make a deal. And they would have had a deal. The hackers are still in Iran, meaning it's unlikely they'll ever face prosecution. But the Justice Department hopes that by publicly naming the charges, they'll deter future hacking attempts. Reporting in Washington, I'm Matt Galkin.